it's a great day for some football here on the 2K Sports Network. Bringing you the action from Municipal Stadium. Playing on their home turf, we have the Werewolves. They'll be defending against the Gunslingers. I'm Dan Stevens, I'll be calling the game, and as always, Peter O'Keefe will deliver the color. Well, Peter, let's see today's lineup. The sheer greatness of these two players placed them dead center in our spotlight. They're the kind of guys, let me say it, who raise everyone's game around them. But they won't have it easy, though. They're facing a tough adversary. But whether you're ready or not, these two players are bringing it all. They are forces of nature, and they come to collect on their greatness. Thanks, Peter. The captains are at midfield for the coin toss. You guys ready? You ready? The gunslinger will make the selection. What is the call? Give us heads. It is tails. We'll kick. The werewolves have won the toss and select a kick. Brown boots it downfield and we're underway. Moore fields it way back at the seven. Drag down at the 27. Herman Moore got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. The gunslingers will start this drive at their own 27 yard line. Number 80 catches this one and is well past the markers for a first down. First down, gunslingers. First and ten from the Gunslingers, 41 yard line. Jackson fires this one over the middle and it's incomplete. Herman Moore was all thumbs. That one bounced right out of the mitt. Potential for some nice yards, but it falls incomplete. That will bring up second down. Second down, two tight ends in the game. From the Gunslingers, 41 yards. Shields gains three yards, and that brings up third down. It's ready to punt it away. Ellis gets the snap and punts it away. Number 19 fields the punt at the 19. Tackled at the 27. Number 19 did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Werewolves send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 27-yard line. Poor 
Carter who gets stopped at the line and that brings up second down. Antoine Grady got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Number 19 catches the heater left sideline and picks up four on the play. Number 19 had nobody on him, and when the quarterback saw that, he quickly shot him the ball. They moved the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Third and six. Peterson tosses it down the left side, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Eric Peterson played the pass perfectly, zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. You know, it's all about accuracy in that situation. A nice gain, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. Porter gets the call on first down and heads up field. Finally stopped at the 24. Rudy Porter sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely great call by the offensive coordinator. First and 10. Peterson throws a bullet to the flat and it's complete at the 21, hunting it down at the 14. Is this a great drive or what? Here we go! Here we go! Red! They go back! They go back! Porter picks up 11 on the play, and that brings up first down. First and goal from the Gunslinger's three-yard line. Well, I bet we see the pass here, right to his go-to receiver. Peterson throws a bullet to the flat, and it's caught for the score. Let's get more. Come on. Dan, this is a nifty little run here to pick up the yards he needs. He knew just where to go. He gets the touchdown, Peter, and that was a very nice play. Definitely. the point after and it's good. Brown kicks it off. Moore fields the kickoff at the nine. Tackled at the 28. Herman Moore tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Gunslingers, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 28-yard line.
Number 80 snags the missile, and that's a gain of seven on the play. Number 80 faced single coverage there and was able to get by it for the reception. That's how you draw it up. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Three. Second and three. Ball at the 35 yard line. Jackson, rifle out outside, and it's caught despite a wicked hit to try and jar the ball loose. First down, gunslingers. Keith Jackson throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First and ten. Number 92 brings him down behind the line at the 46. Number 92 makes a nice stop in the backfield here, throwing his man into the turf behind the line. I guess the ball carrier's travel plans were canceled. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Pow, you're down. Nice tackle. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball right. well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Jackson just rifles this one, and it's caught at the 49, knocked out of bounds at the 44. Herman Moore made the catch back there, but then worked for a few extra yards on top of that. Great effort. After a previous miscue, he makes a great play, this time staying focused. Yeah, his drop earlier didn't affect his concentration on that last pass, really staying with it. Sandoval has planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But, you know, Dan, the only thing that's going to grow is this D's morale. That's his second tackle so far. Fourth down, and the punting unit is on the field. Back to punt. Number 19 is deep to receive. Oh, yeah, punter. I'm coming. I'm blocking this. <laughs> Ellis gets the ball and punts it away. The Werewolves got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own six-yard line. Porter will get the carry on first down and gets just past the line, but not by much before being brought down. Second and nine. Ball at the six yard line. Down! We gonna be in your face all day! Porter picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up third down. Third and eight. Ball at the seven yard line. Yeah. You don't have to run a dollar on a dollar. Charlie Smith made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. They stopped them cold. Fourth coming up. Exactly what this defense needed to do. How about blocking this thing? Come on, let's swarm this guy. Guy lines up in his own end zone for the punt. The punt. Moore is deep to receive. Oh yeah, punter! I'm coming! I'm blocking this! Jesus. 
Guy gets the snap and punts it away. Moore makes a fair catch no at the 38. Ball is spotted at the 37 yard line. The Gunslingers have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at the 37-yard line. Intercepted. Brought down at the 14. Wait a minute. We have a flag down on the play. Let's get the call from the field. Neutral zone infraction, number 96. Defense, five yard penalty, repeat, first down. Dan Marino had crossed the plane made by the tips of the football on that last one, so he got the call for a neutral zone infraction. Great. First and five, ball at the 32 yard line. Shields takes his fourth carry of the game and ends up losing about three. Number 94 makes a nice stop in the backfield here, throwing his man into the turf behind the line. I guess the ball carrier's travel plans were canceled. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Pow, you're down. Nice tackle. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Shields is at the 25. Finally stopped at the 21. This is a very good run for a sizable gain, Dan. You can't ask for much more out of your rushing offense than that. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. Great execution. Great. First and ten from Herrero, 21 yard line. Shields carries it for a third time in a row and gains about three yards. Second and seven. Ball at the 18 yard line. Shields loses about three, and that will bring up third down. Gets all of his arm into this pass, and they get the first on third and long. A pickup of 21 on the play. First down, gunslingers. Frank Hubbard has just one guy on him, and he beats him easily. Even with my few extra pounds, I, I think I could have done a better job covering him. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I, I doubt that. He would have smoked you like a salmon. Hmm, uh, that sounds pretty good. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The werewolves are out in front, seven to nothing. Well, Dan, both pass and run are viable, but I wonder if we'll see the quarterback sneak here. Shields gets the call on first down and gets in for the score. Dan, watch this play unfold. These guys are so talented, it's really just amazing to sit back and watch them take care of business. 
Oh, and I'll tell you what, he takes care of business throughout this play. Makes me want to hit the gym again and maybe, you know, get back down there on the field. Point after. Jackson on the hold. the point after and it's good the gunslinger to kick off number 19 back to receive Number three sends it downfield. Number 19 fields it way back at the three. Drag down at the 24. Number 19 received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. We're right where we want to be in this game. Let's keep plugging away. Peterson tips it to the left sideline and he's on target for a gain of five. Eric Peterson played the pass perfectly, zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. You know, it's all about accuracy in that situation. He is just gunslinging it now. This groove has led to an impressive string of completion. Yeah, he's got to keep thinking one pass at a time, Dan, and stay zeroed in. It only takes one bad shot to break a streak. Jones tackles him for a short loss. Victor Jones targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. Third and five from your werewolf, 28 yard line. Peterson fires this one over the middle and it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. 16 yards on the play. First down, Werewolves. Number 19 shakes his opponent at the line and beats him on a quick pattern. They just couldn't cover him man up, plain and simple. Yeah, great catch and execution. A nice gain and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. First and 10, ball at 44 yards. Grady tackles him for a short loss. Antoine Grady got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his third tackle of the game. Watch your side! Watch your side! Porter gets the call again and passes the line. Brought down at the 46. This is the call. Bunch 50, Z deep post. And break. Third down right. and four wideouts in the game. Ball at the 46 yard line. on the right sideline and they get the first on third and long. First down, 
Eric Peterson squeezes that ball through. Great placement. The defender is practically breathing down his neck. Yeah, you have to give credit to the receiver as well, Dan. It takes two guys to make a play like that work. It was third and long, but it didn't phase them. They moved the ball, and now they moved the chain. Yeah, really nice play calling, Dan. Tubbs tackles him for a short loss. Victor Tubbs got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. The 46. Earl Wade stepped up huge on that play, Dan, and that is not a crack about his weight. Watch. Oh, how many times do I see a lineman make an interception? Oh, I love that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Gunslingers are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their 46-yard line. Shields gets the ball and heads left. Stop at the 48. Number 56 tackles him for a short loss. Number 56 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. From the Gunslinger, Jackson throws this on a rope, and it is not reeled in, incomplete. Ryan Pago shut down that pass perfectly. You know when you're sitting back in a zone like that, what you're trying to do is read the quarter. Coach Edwards doesn't agree with the call, and we're going to see the red flag. The gunslinger are challenging whether the pass was caught in bounds. Dan, when we check out the replay here, we should be able to see if the catch was made prior to going out of bounds. Oh, there's the catch. He's in bounds. I think they'll overturn this one. After review, the pass has been ruled complete. The catch was made prior to going out of bounds. The gunslinger will not be charged with a timeout. Fourth down. They only need a couple here. So let's buckle down, guys. Ellis gets ready to punt it away. Back to punt. Number 19 is deep to receive. Don't let him get that point. Ellis gets the snap and punts it away. Number 19 catches it at the 12. Bang down at the 15. Number 19 didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The Werewolves were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 15-yard line. We'll get stopped at the line, and that brings up second down. Rudy Porter got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Down. 
Peterson fires this one over the middle, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Penalty marker down on the play. Let's listen to the call. Neutral zone infraction, number 96, defense. The penalty is declined. First down, 10 yards First to go. From the Werewolves, 28 yards. Number 19 catches at left sideline and gains a couple. Number 19 had a defender close by but was able to bring down the catch. The short game is working okay for them. It's been methodical, but they are moving the ball. Yeah, they need to strike deep at some point, though, to loosen up that secondary. Great. Second and seven. Ball at the 30-yard line. Peterson throws a heater right sideline and he's on target for a gain of five. Eric Peterson threw the football across the field and got it to land right on the receiver's front porch. Man, I need him to train my paper boy. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Porter gets the toss and gets taken down well short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. With the tackle, he loses three on the play. Dave Wilcox just pushes him back in time on this one. Big loss, great defensive play. Watch. Oh, it's all about pursuing your man. You got to stay with him, and he did just that to get the tackle. They came up big, caused the loss of yards, and more important, forced the fourth down. What a play by this defense. You said it, Dano. They're all fired up down there. Guy takes the long snap and punts it away. Moore fields the punt at the 32. Drag down at the 35. The gunslingers take the field and will start out at their 35-yard line. a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Rich Killian couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Let's go. Second and ten. Jackson zings it to the right side, and he's on target for a gain of five. Herman Moore drew three men on the D, but is still able to make the catch. Way to find the hole, settle in, and make a great catch. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Third down, tight end to the left. Shields gets the call on third down and is dropped short of the marker. Fourth down coming up. Number 56 made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. He now has five tackles in the game. Ellis gets the snap and punts it away. Number 19 fields it at the 20. Pop hard at the 22.
Wilson even tried to bring that one back. What's wrong with you? The Werewolves could take the lead going into the locker room as their offense will start at their own 22-yard line. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. Number 19 ran an outside route but couldn't make a play to haul in that fling. A rare incompletion. And the defense sighed a sigh of relief. But it's only the second quarter, Dan. The D has to hang tough. Man, we need more out of you. Where you been today? Don't worry, man. I'm going to get it turned around. We need more. Second and 10 from your werewolves. 22 yard. Down. Sit. Counter, counter, counter. Peterson floats this one out to the right sidelines, and it's caught at the 48, 25, finally stopped at the 22. Brian Taylor makes one beauty of a play here. He catches the football, but he sees he's got some room to move, and he ends up with a phenomenal run. Gotta love seeing open field like that in front of you. Peter, what a fantastic play. Well, I tell you, it looks like there's more than one way to make the chain gang get some exercise. <laughs> and let me tell you, they could use it. Come on, fellas, put a little sprint in your step. Porter picks up six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Rudy Porter stayed with his blockers on that last one, and it paid off big time. You know, Dan, it's always good to have a wingman or two. They move the ball, and it will be second down. From the gunslinger, 16 yard line. Cruises out to the left side and pays the price for the first down. First down, Werewolves. The entire offense clicked on that play, Dan. Big yards from the runner because he knew where he was going at all times. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. This is the big one right here, boys. Train 90, slant and stop. Focus on this one. Brett. First and goal from the gunslinger, nine yards. Down. Six. Let's go, D. That's what we stand for. Good for six. Eric Peterson made a nice throw there. Got it right past the defender. You know, I love what this passing scheme accomplishes. Game in and game out. We're seeing the steam coming from this offensive engine big time. They're looking hard to stop. Well, I bet we see the pass here. Right to his go-to receiver. We'll get the carry on second down and gets just past the line, but not by much before being brought down. Did you see that? Beautiful. Just beautiful. Where's third and goal from the gunslinger? You're not going nowhere. <laughs> Sacks him, and the clock continues to run. That will bring up fourth and goal. The gunslingers had the numbers on their side and sent a five-man rush into this mantle, the O-line, and sacked the general. Peter forced the loss of yardage on third, and now they face a fourth and long. How, how do you rate that defensive performance? Uh, how about A+, plus? two thumbs up, five stars. It's all good, baby. with a 25-yarder, and they take the lead.
Derek Brown has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. The field goal puts them in the lead, which is where they wanted to be heading into the locker room. Let's see if they can build on that slight lead in the second half. Brown boots it away. Moore fields the kickoff at the 8. Brought down at the 27. Herman Moore tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The gunslingers take the field with the clock at 16. Shields takes it off the toss and runs into traffic. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. Saloon Shields used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Werewolves with a small lead, 10 to 7. Well, Dan, what do you say? You ready to dive into the 2K Sports Halftime Show? Now a look at our halftime comparison, and as you can see, total yards definitely tell the story thus far. The Werewolves should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponents hang in there with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Porter is going to take this one to the outside, and once he gets the corner, it's a foot race. A 23-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The Werewolves get the first points of the game and go up by seven. Midway through the first, Jackson would draw back and deliver a strike on this one. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. Later on in the second quarter, the Gunslingers back by seven. Shields was able to make things pay off on the ground. They even the score seven all. The Werewolves still in the second. Wade is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way, and he's able to get his hands on this one and picks it off. Game tied, seven all. Taylor came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. That set up a short 25-yard field goal, and that will do it. The Werewolves are holding on to a lead, 10 to 7. Excellent job, Dan. The Werewolves will receive to start the second half, and they currently enjoy a small lead, 10 to 7. Let's get down to the field and the action. Number three boots the second half kickoff away. Number 19 fields the second half kickoff at the three. Tackled at the 28. Number 19 got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Werewolves came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their own 28-yard line. Damon St. Pierre enhances this catch with a little move right there. I love to watch him work. He did a good job getting his hands around the football, and then he just took off with it. Yeah, he's not running any tricky patterns, but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to. First and ten. Takes his 16th carry of the game and maybe picks up one on the play. One on the play. Smith credited with the tackle.
Second and eight. Ball at the 39 yard line. Porter takes it for his 17th carry and chews up about four on the play. Gain of four yards on the play. Bell with the tackle. Just a basic little pickup is all we need. Then let's get that first. Third and five. Ball at the 43 yard line. Taylor grabs the fastball over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. Brian Taylor goes mano y mano, and the ball's waiting for him there on the cut. Great communication by quarterback and receiver together. A nice game, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. First and ten from second slinger, 24 yards. Receptions made at the 38, and he stopped right there. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. The gunslingers, 38 yards. up four yards and that brings up first down. First down, first and Let's keep doing what we're doing. Porter takes it across the line and heads wide right. Chase down at the 21. This is a great run, Dan. Look at the yards he chews up. Peter, he had a great jump off the line. He was in fifth gear before the defense could even react. Motored for some easy yards. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Wilcox tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. We have a penalty marker on the play. Let's get the call from the field. Neutral zone infraction, number 72, defense. Repeat, first down. Derek Brown was lined up on the ball, and the ref called him on it. That's a neutral zone infraction. First and five. Let's keep it going. Slingers, 16 yard line. Let's go, D-Back. Let's go. Liz, Liz, Liz. Porter carries it off the toss and maybe picks up one on the play. Brady, no gain on the play. Let's go. Second and four. Number 19 catches it in the flat and is well past the markers for a first down. Number 27 just can't deliver the decisive hit until after the ball carrier got the first down. Maybe the sound of the chains moving drowned out his footsteps and gave him the element of surprise. Hey, that's a good one, Dan. Make sure we get a mic on his bench if he tries to sell that one to his coach. Can't wait to hear that exchange. That's his second tackle so far. Porter barrels off his 
left guard and chews up about four on the play. Gain of four yards on the play. Number 27, credited with the tackle. Brick wall, guys! Brick wall! We're stopping him right here, right now! Second and goal from the gunslinger, three yard line. This one will fall incomplete. Chris Fitzsimmons is showing signs of frustration, Dan, and the defensive players are talking in his ear. That was a, a rare incompletion, Peter. This passing game has shown very few weaknesses. Well, the D better find some because there's still over a quarter left to play. Third and goal. You know, Dan, this might be a nice time to try a little fade to their go-to receiver. Porter picks up about two, and that will bring up fourth down. He picks up two yards on the play. Smith with the tackle. No points here! We're going to bust through the line and block this kick! Fourth down, goal to go. We'll come in to attempt a field goal from the one yard line. Rock will hold the kick. Brown from 18 yards, and it's good. Derek Brown has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. They'll take the three points, but they were hoping for seven. But that's the second time today they get close only to have to bring in the kicker. Brown kicks it off. Moore fields it way back at the 10. Breaks the tackle, brought down at the 29. Herman Moore tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Gunslingers take the field, and their running game hasn't generated much other than a big play here or there. We'll see how they fare as we start at their own 29-yard line. Shields has his number called on first down and picks up a couple. A flag is thrown on the plate. Let's see what it is. Neutral zone infraction, number 92, defense, Five yard penalty, repeat, first down. Number 92 had crossed the plane made by the tips of the football on that last one, so he got the call for a neutral zone infraction. First and five from the gunslinger, 34 yards. The 30. Rich Killian makes a nice stop in the backfield here, throwing his man into the turf behind the line. I guess the ball carrier's travel plans were canceled. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Pow, you're down. Nice tackle. Peter, they put an end to that play well in the backfield, and they had a real good read on that. Yeah, it all starts with the guys up front, Dan, and then everybody follows. Second down coming up. Ron Crosby read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That will be two losses in a row. Great reads by the D on the last two plays, Dan. From the gunslinger, 30 yards.
Jackson throws this one deep down the right sideline, and it's complete at the 42. 10, 5, touchdown! Herman Moore adds a bunch to that completion. Watch the replay. There's the grab, and he just takes off. He just loves to see those little white lines go by underneath his feet. Big play to snare that one and put six on the board. He's got a nose for the end zone, Dan, and the ability to get there. Uh -huh. Coverage better tighten up, though, unless they want to see that play again. Number three is back for the point after. Jackson on the hold. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Number three kicks it off. Number 19 fields the kickoff at the three. Jukes stop at the 24. Number 19 received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Werewolves come out and find themselves losing for the first time in the game. This drive will start at their own 24-yard line. Porter gets the handoff and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Tackle made by Grady. No gain on the play. Second and ten from the Werewolves, 24 yards. Down! Sit! You're not going nowhere! Bro. Switch! Left! Left! Aye, aye, aye! Switch! I'm big time! I'm big 68! Hut, hut, hut! Porter will lose four on the play, and that will bring up third down. Four yards on the play. Dave Wilcox just pushes him back in time on this one. Big loss, great defensive play. Watch. Oh, it's all about pursuing your man. You got to stay with him, and he did just that to get the tackle. That's his second tackle so far. This is what I want. Gun. Straight 50 AZ cross. Ready? Break. Third down with the tight end right. From the Werewolves, 20 yards. The first on third and long. Eric Peterson makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confident QB. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 210 yards and one interception. I'm on today. Just keep getting to the right spot, and I'm going to find you. Wow, that's my boy! Let's go! First and ten. Porter picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up second down. Rudy Porter used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Murray tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Oh. 
Eyes front. We're using bunch 50 Z deep post. Got it? Good. Break. Good. Third and nine. Ball at the 42 yard line. Peterson throws the pass and gets caught at the 32. Pop hard at the 30. First down. 28 yards on the play. First down, werewolf. Eric Peterson has great accuracy on this throw. Yeah, he put the ball right where his guy could get it. And the defender couldn't. Nice toss. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 238 yards and one touchdown. Taylor falls in the pass, and he picks up nine. With the run out of bounds, he picks up nine on the play. You can't cover me! You can't cover me! We gotta hold him here! You heard the man! Second and in inches. Porter gets the call on second down and barely picks up the first down. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Gunslingers with a small lead, 14 to 13. Smith makes the hit way back in the backfield at the 25. Smith credited with the tackle for a loss. Of Charlie Smith is not going to let them get back to the line here. Look how he just rolls into the backfield and just lays out the ball carrier. He's quick and he knows how to hurt a guy. The defensive design worked flawlessly and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Peterson lets it go down the right side, and it's tipped incomplete. Isaac Bell couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third and 15 from the Gunslinger, 25 yards. Number 19 catches it over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. Number 19 is in man-to-man -man coverage on this play and makes the most of it. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a great catch. That guy has real skills. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. Second and goal. We gonna be in your face all day. Side wing left. Right now, I got you over here. Porter will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up third down. Dennis Greer targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got five tackles.
Porter gets the call on third down and he gets tackled short of the markers. That will bring up fourth and goal. Isaac Bell got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Another tackle, and it seems like we're always calling his name. What a hitting machine in the secondary. He's definitely carrying his weight back there. Brown from 19 yards, and they take the lead. Derek Brown has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. That field goal makes him three for three out there. Hasn't missed one yet. And you can't coach that. Brown boots it away. Moore fields it way back at the nine. Breaks the tackle. Eventually shoved out at the 49. Yeah! I put the special in special team. The Gunslingers start this one on the center logo at the 49-yard line. Number 80 catches the bullet out left and gets past the markers for a first down. First down, Gunslingers. Number 80 has some company on this play, but he still makes the catch. That's good concentration and focus. It's worth another look. Oh, maybe they should have triple covered him there. Boy, he zips through the passing lanes in those medium zones. Yeah, the defense has to try and close him out of there, or he's just going to keep on coming. Shields carries it for the 15th time and heads up field. Brought down hard at the 25. Salim Shields high steps over the tackler to get the yards. Oh, it's all about timing. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Dodges this one way out right and chews up about four on the play. Gain of four yards on the play. Killian with the tackle. Let's go! Second and five from the Gunslingers. 21 yard line. Shields gains five on the play, and that will bring up third down. Tony Watson made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his second tackle so far. Third down, and they line up with three tight ends. Shields carries it for the fourth straight time. Hands wide left. Tackled at the 10. This is a great run, Dan. Look at the yards he chews up. Peter, he had a great jump off the line. He was in fifth gear before the defense could even react. Motored for some easy yards. Four plays in a row, he's taken the load. They are moving through the defense. Hey, there's no reason to give it to anyone else right now. Let's go! 
Marshall carries it off right tackle and picks up eight yards on the play. Jim Marshall played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Well, the defense has its hands full, Dan. Do they protect against the run or try to neutralize this passing play? Well, this is a nice run, Dan. Gets all the yards he needs. Not a huge quantity of yardage, but definitely some quality yardage, Peter. Absolutely. Great play. They take the lead on that touchdown, Peter, and they have to be happy with their performance on that drive. Yeah, great calls and great execution. the point after and it's good the point is good Number three kicks it away. Number 19 fields the kickoff at the one. Brought down at the 26. Number 19 received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Werewolves passed well last time out. We'll see if they stick to the passing game as they start this drive at their own 26-yard line. Peterson zips it to the left sideline and it falls incomplete. Number 19 tried a quick out back there to get free, but the pass was incomplete. Although that was incomplete, we've rarely mentioned that word with this offense, and that is held true all the way up here to the fourth quarter. Yeah, the D has had a very yeah. long day today. From your werewolf, 26 yards. about seven and that will bring up third down you be ready out there you hear me your werewolves Him back at the 30. That will bring up fourth down. Victor Tubbs sacks the quarterback deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, man, that's going to push them way back. Great defensive play. That'll be his first sack of the game. Your werewolves are back to punt. Moore is deep to receive. Takes the snap and punts it away. Moore fields the punt at the 30. Dragged down at the 35. Herman Moore got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The gunslingers will begin the drive at their 35 yard line. Shields will get the carry on first down and takes it upfield. Eventually tackled at the 47. It will be first down. 
Salim Shields basically runs rough shot over the defense on this play. Let's see that again. He charges straight into the defender and pounds through for the yardie. He likes to play physical, Dan, and he's just told the defense that they'd better like it too if they expect to keep up with it. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. And that brings up second down. Gain of three on the play. Watson with the tackle. Second and six. Ball at the 50 yard line. Shields has his number called on second down and barely picks up the first down. Ain't nobody stopping us! First down, 10 yards to go. From Werewolves, 43 yards. Number 95 saw where that play was going right away and stopped it cold for a loss of yardage. A beautiful hit on that one. He really brought some thunder with him. And he rained on the offense's hopes of gaining some yards. In fact, the rest of this drive may get a little overcast. That's his third tackle of the game. Shields will get the carry on second down. The werewolves take their first time up. much the whole 10 yards in front of us here. Piece of cake, man. Shields carry this one. The werewolves will take a timeout. That's their second. Number 95 made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. They stopped them cold, fourth coming up. Exactly what this defense needed to do. Ellis gets ready to punt it away. Oh yeah, this one's mine! This one's mine! Ellis gets the snap and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Pete Ellis saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. Don't hold anything back. I need everything you got. First and ten. From your werewolves, 20 yards. Six. Watch the pad, watch the pad. Draw right, draw right. Good, good. Taylor makes a tough catch, and the clock continues to wind down. Peterson goes into the left sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. 
Number 27. Came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice throw down the field, but the defense plays it perfectly. Great coverage downfield that time. This is it. It all comes down to this. Great. Third and three. Ball at the 27 yard line. The Werewolves take a timeout. That's their final one. Fourth down, and they're going for it. Peterson throws a heater right sideline and it's caught short of the markers. They will forfeit the ball on downs. Brian Taylor thinks he can make it on the outside, but he is mistaken. He goes out of bounds short of the marker. Let's watch. And now they lose possession. Not a good play. They had the right idea there, going for it, trying to put the ball in the end zone, but they couldn't convert. It was the right time to roll the dice, Dan, but this time right. the house wins and they turn it over. Dan, this game is over. There's no way for the D to stop the clock, and the offense is just going to sit on the ball to win this one. Jackson takes a knee, and the clock will tick down. A loss of yards here, but they aren't too concerned about that. They just want to keep that clock moving. Second and 11. Ball at the 28 yard line. They'll take their sweet time getting this playoff, Dan. There's no reason for them to hurry the snap. takes a knee and that will do it Dan I want to point out something on that last play did you notice the job he did in letting the play clock wind all the way down before snapping the ball that's good clock management takes a knee and the clock will tick down the with that let's game. look back at some of the plays that made the difference in this one that was an exciting game so let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights in our post game show We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. After driving 71 yards on 12 plays, Brown would come on and connect on the field goal try. A 19-yard field goal. The gunslingers come right back. Moore came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 70-yard touchdown for the visitors. Towards the end of the third quarter, the Werewolves losing by one. Peterson went up top on the third down play and he was able to find his man. They grabbed their first lead of the half and go up by two. The Gunslingers, middle of the fourth, Marshall got the carry as they pounded him out on the ground and he made the most of it. A two yard touchdown for the visitors. And that's where we'll have to leave this one. The Gunslingers edge out a win, 21 to 16. Finally, let's give it up for our 2K Sports Player of the Game. Herman Moore dominated the game like a true legend. Well, he was the best player on the winning team. It's as simple as that. We'll see if he's able to keep up this high level of play in the games ahead. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.